All right. All right, here's uh, our ankle pick auric. Most people that you're gonna fight hold their shield like a larper instead of a swordsman. So it's gonna be like this. This is an ankle pick. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do what's called a penetration step. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna step like a passing step and put my knee to the ground. So it comes to the ground, and when I'm here, I just slide this foot up. The reason I do that is just to get that extra bit of range. So I'm right here, and I can come right here real quick. Now with my shield, as I come in, I'm going to put it over my head like a tabletop. So as I shoot in, it's right here. I'm blocked. You can't wrap. I just grab his ankle and take him down. And uh, where his shield's like this, how LARPers hold it, as soon as I duck, he can't see me. Uh, and that's all I got to do. I'm protected. Grab it. Then push with the shield, they'll fall. Okay, anything else you want to add? Uh, we should do it at, at, at speed. At yeah, speed. do it full speed. That's it then. I guess you're up. You gotta show your what's your magic. Go. Auric, what's up, man? This is something you can do against a high cross or anything that's going up over in front of the face here. That's uh, they're crossing the arm in front of their body here. This is best best done from the box, or at least some version of the box when you come in and you're here. They're throwing shield side shots and they're not hitting, so they throw a high cross. You can reach up. Let's see that again. You come in, you just reach up and get a hold of the elbow here. Grab a hold of the elbow, and there are a few things you can do. You can just turn them over and pull them to the ground like this. Or you can bring it around to the right side here and isolate the arm. Either one, and from here you can do a disarm or whatever you want to do. So. And you don't have to do it open-handed, you can do it with a weapon. So throw a shield side and then a cross. When you see it, as soon as you see it coming, get that arm up there. And get either, if you're using a weapon, get your elbow inside their elbow. And get your pommel on the back of their bicep or on their shoulder here. And you can turn them over. And that's, that's all you got to do. Is you, you see that coming, just get your arm up there and you can pull it down. I guess that's really about it. Got See if I put that in there and it goes on the boards. <laughs> um, just things to consider. Uh, that's not a joint lock, okay? But if you, if there, put your arm like your elbow straight and elbow down, or elbow up, I mean. But like, if you get it in something like this and you're really torquing it like this, then it, it puts pressure on that joint, all right? So just get One him to joint. the point. Well, this guy has uh, double jointed shoulders, but. So just when you get it, just lock it and stop it and just bring them down and do your ground game. And it still works even on double jointed people. It still works even on double jointed people. And let's do one more thing. And if you get it and you come to this side, normally you can keep control of them pretty well. Like yeah, I've got Dan here, I can kind of pull him around. But they do have your back. If they know how to grapple and he drops his shield and gets a hold of you, you're in bad shape, all right? So like I used to do this one. I used to, um. I'd, I'd isolate it, and I'd drop my shield, and then come down like this. But if I ever run into somebody like Dave or Durden or somebody that knows how to grapple, they'll tear me up from there, all right? So just consider that if you ever decide to use that. All right, you're the man.